The mineral, Washington murders, dubbed by the media as the Tube Sock Killings, is a series of unsolved murders that occurred in remote areas of Lewis and Pierce County, Washington, near the remote community of Mineral, Washington, in 1985. The murder cases were widely publicized and were featured on the television series Unsolved Mysteries in 1989. Case Harkins and Cooper on August 10, 1985, Stephen Harkins, 27, and his girlfriend, Ruth Cooper, 42, left their Tacoma, Washington home for a weekend camping trip at Tool Lake in Pierce County. When the two did not return to their jobs at a Tacoma vocational school the following Monday, their families reported them missing. Four days later, on August 14, hikers passing through Pierce County found Harkin's body near a remote campsite. He had been shot in the head, and his body, still in a sleeping bag, suggested he had been murdered while sleeping. Nearby, searchers also found Harkin's and Cooper's pet dog, who had been shot to death as well. At the time, law enforcement suspected that the case may have been connected to the murders of Edward Smith and Kimberly Diane Lavine a couple from Kent, Washington who were abducted, murdered, and disposed of in a gravel pit near the Columbia River in March, 1985.0 n October 26, a skull was found at the dead end of 8th Avenue South, near Hearts Lake, about 1.5 miles from where Harkin's body was found. Dental records confirmed the skull belonged to Cooper and two days later on October 28, her body and her purse were also recovered from the area, 50 feet from where her skull had been found. A tube sock had been tied around Cooper's neck. According to the autopsy, Cooper had died of homicidal violence, though a spokesman later stated she had died of a gunshot wound to the abdomen. After the discovery of Cooper, the murders were publicized by Crime Stoppers in an attempt to recover information leading to the arrest of those responsible. Reamer and Robertson Over a month after the discovery of Ruth Cooper, on December 12, 1985, Mike Reamer, 36, his girlfriend, Diana Robertson, 21, and their daughter, Crystal Louise Robertson, age 2, traveled from their Tacoma home to Pierce County, planning to find a campsite near the Nisqually River. Reamer, an animal trapper, also planned to check on traps he had set in the area. Later that evening, customers at a Kmart store 30 miles north in Spanaway found the couple's daughter, Crystal, standing outside the store entrance. Crystal was placed in temporary foster care until her maternal grandmother saw her photograph on a local news broadcast two days later. When asked where her mother was, the day's two-year-old told her grandmother that her mommy was in the trees. According to investigators, the two-year-old was not nearly verbal enough to provide any information. Police searched the area both on foot and by air, looking for evidence of Reamer's red 1982 Plymouth pickup truck, but efforts remained fruitless. On February 18, 1986, over two months after the couple's disappearance, the body of Diana Robertson was discovered half-buried in snow by a motorist near a logging road off of Washington State Route 7 and Mineral. Bloodhounds scoured the area in the following days, but six inches of snowfall impeded the search. Reamer's pickup truck was also found near Robertson's body. I end the truck. Police discovered a note on the dashboard that read, I love you, Diana. It was written on a manila envelope. Robertson's mother claimed the handwriting was that of Reamer. Bloodstains were also found on the seat of the truck. An autopsy revealed that Diana Robertson had been stabbed 17 times and, as with Ruth Cooper, was also found with a tube sock tied around her neck. Due to Reamer's disappearance, investigators believed he may have been responsible for Robertson's murder and had abandoned his daughter at the Kmart store and then subsequently fled. Police theorized that Reamer may have been responsible for Harkins and Cooper's murders as well. An alternate theory, however, claimed that Reamer was also a victim of the same killer who had murdered Robertson, Harkins, and Cooper. In February 1986, after the discovery of Robertson's body, 
the Seattle Post Intelligencer published an article revealing that Reamer had been charged with domestic assault against Robertson on October 19, 1985. However, the couple had reconciled by December, the month in which they disappeared. Reamer, who worked as a roofer at Seattle's Queen City Sheet Metal and Roofing Incorporated, was described by his employer as a typical roofer who worked hard and played hard. 2011 Development On March 26, 2011, hikers discovered a partial human skull later determined to be that of Mike Reamer. It was found in an area within a mile radius of where Robertson's body had been discovered in 1986. After recovery of the skull, Lewis County investigators stated that they believed Reamer could have been a possible victim of homicide as well, though his cause of death could not be determined. Based on the condition of the skull, however, authorities were able to rule out a gunshot wound to the head. Media Depiction In September 1989, the case featured prominently on the series Unsolved Mysteries. See also List of Fugitives from Justice Who Disappeared List of Serial Killers in the United States List of Solved Missing Person Cases List of Unsolved Murders References External links audio segment on the trail when cold podcast case profile at unsolved.com Michael Lloyd Reamer at find a grave Diana Robertson at find a grave